welcome back today we are going to discuss this question um, before you look into this video just read this question then uh, go through this one okay all right um, so this patient 38 year old man she's on this medications pepracillin and ciprofloxacin and if she's dosed again with probenicin which is an acid primarily and actively secreted with a very high affinity for the for the secretion carrier sites okay so what will happen what will be the effect which drug concentration will increase or decrease which drug concentrations clearance will increase or decrease so let's see how and what's going to happen so piperacillin which is an acid basically okay so we can expect a competition with the secretion the acid secretion sites because probin is an acid so definitely there will be competition and Let's look at ciprofloxacin. Ciprofloxacin is base. As you are aware, drug which is a base will never compete with uh, an acid secretion site. Okay, so we can just rule out uh, ciprofloxacin. You know, in today's question, we can just simply say, hey, ciprofloxacin base and probenicid an acid. So there won't be any change. But like, it, let's look at probenicid now. So with it. Uh, the first thing is we have to find out whether it is predominantly reabsorbed okay or it is predominantly secreted so how do you know that let's do the calculations let's do the math okay so before we do the math let's see the phenomenon once so what is the total clearance renal clearance and uh, what is glomerular filtration rate and uh, what is the secretion rate so drug let's imagine this is glomerulus okay a drug is filtered so it's glomerular filtration uh, due to uh, clearance due to glomerular filtration which is the formula is fraction unbound times glomerular filtration rate okay so glomerular filtration rate is 125 ml per minute okay and the fraction unbound for pepericillin is 0 0.8 okay 0 0.8 so that is equal to the value is approximately 100 ml per minute okay so the drug is filtered across the glomerulus at a rate of 100 ml per minute okay All right but the, let's take a look at the total clearance we cannot calculate you now the secretion as per right because we don't know how many secretion sites are actually occupied so it is difficult so we always look at the uh, total renal clearance or cl renal clearance so what is the renal clearance by the way as you're aware from the formula we can calculate so renal clearance is equal to the fraction excreted unchanged times the total clearance okay this gives us the renal clearance so how do you calculate that so the fraction excreted unchanged is 0 0.7 for pepericillin 0 0.7 times the total clearance is how much 20 liters per hour hmm 20 liters per hour so how do you convert this 20 liters per hour now 0 0.7 times 20 liters per hour right so let's convert this into liters <coughs> per hour to we have to convert to minutes ml per minutes right so 20 liters per hour that is 20 liters per hour it's per hour right okay so let's do it here 20 liters per hour right so per if you want to convert it to ml per minute it's 20 times 1000 because it's ml divided by 60 okay it gives a value of 333 ml per minute approximately okay so now the renal clearance is 0 0.7 which is a fraction excreted unchanged times the ml per minute the total clearance so 333 that is equal to 233 okay so now the input is 100 ml per minute it's a filtration okay and the output is 
233 ml per minute. Okay, this is the input and this is the output. So what is happening in the meanwhile, how the drug is being added? Means the drug is being secreted predominantly, right? So let's say 100 ml per minute is entering and the exit is 233. Okay, even though there is an absorption, the drug is reabsorbed back into the bloodstream. Okay, but still there is a 233 ml per minute output is there, that is the renal clearance. So unless until there is a predominant secretion, okay, this much volume of uh, you know clearance, you I mean this much uh, clearance you want to expect, right? So this drug is predominantly secreted, ciprofloxacin, I mean piperacillin. So hence, if probenicid, okay, let's say this is a glomerulus, okay, okay, and these are the secretion sites. Okay, so probenicid because it's very high, it has a very high affinity for the secretion sites, and if this drug is occupying these secretion sites, okay, obviously piperacillin will not have any secretion sites, and its secretion will decline. Okay, its secretion is going to decline, and what happens? The renal clearance will decline. Okay, so secretions decline renal clearance will decline so what it will happen eventually so obviously the CSS average will increase okay and also it will increase D half okay and clearance increases obviously these are the first two um, parameters that are going to affect okay so I'm going to stop here and